in this video we can discuss about cephalosporin which is a type of beta lactam antibiotics so in this video we will discuss the definition classification of cephalosporin mechanism of action adverse drug reaction uses indication or applications of cephalosporins so as we mentioned before beta lactam antibiotics are antibiotic having beta lactam as that of penicillin and there are two major groups of beta lactam antibiotic like penicillin cephalosporin monobactam and carbapenem which are relatively newer beta lactam antibiotic when compared with the penicillin and cephalosporin now mechanism of action of beta lactam antibiotics are they will interfere with the synthesis of bacterial cell wall synthesis and thereby they will inhibit the growth of bacteria now coming to cephalosporins these are a type of beta lactam antibiotic these are a group of semi synthetic antibiotic that derived from cephalosporium which is cephalosporin c which are obtained from a fungus cephalosporium chemically these are related to penicillin it consists a nucleus of beta lactam ring which is fused with dihydrothiazine ring and usually this uh, cephalosporin conventionally divided into four generation that we will discuss in classification of cephalosporin now mechanism of action all the cephalosporins are bacteriocidal they will kill the bacteria than inhibiting growth of microorganism they will inhibit the bacterial cell wall synthesis by inhibit transpeptidase enzyme as that of penicillin now coming to classification of cephalosporin cephalosporin is classified into first second third and fourth generation now coming to the first generation it is again classified into oral first generation cephalosporin and parenteral first generation cephalosporin examples are cephalexin and cefadroxil for oral first generation cefasolin for oral sorry parenteral first generation cephalosporin now second generation oral cephalosporins are cefaclor cefuraxil acetyl and ceftriaxel and parenteral second generation cephalosporins are cefuraxin and cefoxidins now coming to third generation oral cephalosporins are cefixin that is available in market in with the different names cef400 cef200 etc cefpodoxim proxetil ceftinil ceftibutone ceftamate proxil now parenteral third generation cephalosporin are cefotaxim ceftrioxone ceftisoxim ceftazidine cefoperazones and fourth generation that is available only as parenteral cephalosporin cefipim and ceftrio cefpirom so this is the classification of cephalosporin this is a bit confusing and the first generation is more active against gram positive and less against gram negative uh, positive and more uh, active against gram negative second generation is, is more active against gram positive third generation is more active against gram negative and fourth generation etc so this is an interesting toll from toll kmc and tvc uh, ako this is uh, the names are very very similar and it will be very difficult to remember the names of cephalosporins now uh, when coming to the action of cephalosporin when compared with the penicillin cephalosporin is an broad spectrum antibiotic with uh, action against gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria but in case of uh, penicillin they will kill only gram positive bacteria in case of cephalosporin they will kill gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria with bacteriocidal action than rather than the bacteriostatic action now coming to the mechanism of action of cephalosporin 
mechanism action mechanism of action is same as that of beta lactomandibulotic like penicillin they will bind with the ppp penicillin binding protein which consist of a group of enzyme uh, transpeptidase with other tools which are required for the interlinking of this nam and nag so they will inhibit the cross linking of peptidoglycan and it will produce cell deficient bacteria so it will undergo and it will produce bacteriocidal effect cephalosporin is a bacteria beta lactam antibiotic which will inhibit transpeptidase enzyme so that the cross linking of udp n acetyl muramic acid that is nam uh, nam penda peptide as well as udp n acetyl glucosamine nag does not take place thereby these enzyme and related protein constituting is known as penicillin binding protein which has been located in the bacterial cell wall so this cephalosporin will bind with the peptide uh, sorry transpeptidase enzyme and also it will bind with the penicillin protein thereby it will interfere the synthesis of bacterial cell wall so it will produce uh, a bacteria with cell deficient bacteria so that are killed very very easily with the cephalosporin now coming to the adverse drug reactions of penicillin this is well tolerated when compared with the penicillin but this is more toxic than the penicillin usually there will be a pain after the im injection and the diarrhea may occur due to the alteration of gut ecology and irritative effect all the antibiotic will uh, alter the gut ecology uh, get ecology there are different microorganism normal uh, microbial flora in the gi tract which will help for the digestion of different foods so these drugs will alter this uh, get ecology and it will uh, it will produce an irritative effect so it can produce a diarrhea and cephalosporin sometime it will produce hypersensitivity as adverse drug reaction and nephrotoxicity is highest when compared with the penicillin and there may be a chance for bleeding with the cephalosporin due to hyper hypothrombinia and neutropenia and cy, uh, thrombocytopenia are rare and it may produce a disulfiram like interaction with alcohol so these are the some important uh, adverse drug reactions of cephalosporin so this is an another toll uh, which indicate uh, the uh, uh, intestinal effect of antibiotic it will eradicate or it will expel the normal gut flora when we are taking an antibiotic now coming to uh, uses of cephalosporin uh, it can be used as an alternative to natural penicillin particularly in patient who have allergic to uh, who have allergic to the penicillin so we can use for the any diseases Uh, which are treated with the penicillin g with the cephalosporin but uh, the advantage is uh, it will not produce allergy uh, as that of penicillin and it can be used for the uh, respiratory urinary and soft tissue infection which are caused by gram negative bacteria especially klebsiella proteus enterobacter and serratia and we can use to treat penicillinase producing staphylococcus infections and Uh, we can use for the treatment of septicemia which are caused by gram negative organism we can use for surgical prophylaxis so we can use cephalosporin after the surgery uh, in order to prevent the infection and uh, we can use for meningitis which are caused by gram negative as well as gram positive bacteria we can use to treat gonorrhea which are caused by penicillinase producing organism and we can use for treatment of typhoid we can use for treatment of mixed aerobic and anaerobic infection in cancer patient and also we can use it for hospital acquired infection uh, resistant which are commonly which are resistant to commonly used antibiotics so these are the different uses of cephalosporins so that is all about the definition classification mechanism of action adr and uses of cephalosporin hope it is clear thank you for watching this video